This is an HP News Network special report. Okay, YouTubers and those of you who are real, honest-to-goodness anti-nuke activists and that will use anything and everything at our disposal short of violence. We don't use violence, but we want to educate. We want to get the information to the American public. So those of you who are willing to hold no punches and genuinely want to shut down nuclear power, I'm talking to you. Not the profiteers, not the opportunists. Not the shills, not the trolls, not the nuclear apologists. There are plenty of those. There's a lot of money being thrown around. And right now they're trying to suppress the information. What information? Information contained within the NRC Freedom of Information Act documents pertaining to Fukushima. It's not about me. It's not about you necessarily. It's not about any singular individual. What I want to make this about is the information that I'm about to reveal to you. Some of you have heard this now who are my subscribers, but some of you may have not. So regardless of how you found Hattrick Penry, my pseudo name, which I created that because I was writing articles when I wrote for the alternative media, the Intel Hub, my articles regarding Plumegate had been modified. And when I confronted them about that, and I confronted Alex Jones and this his organization about not reporting on Plumegate and these documents that had been available, even when I sent them, Alex Jones, the information, everything, they declined to report on it, I had to come up with a pseudo name. That's where Hattrick Penry came from. I wanted to write about the alternative media whilst criticizing it while still being able to have my 40 plus articles hosted by the Intel Hub. You have to understand that. So it's not about Hattrick Penry, and that's where that name came from. Okay, that was just so at the time I could I could write about certain things without suffering ill effect for it. I wanted to have the freedom to write what was on my mind, and the attitude within the Intel Hub at the time was totally against me criticizing alternative media. So Point being, in all this, it's, it's not about me. It's not about me. It's what I'm about to read to you right now. So let me talk to you about what I found in these documents. And let me talk to you about what they are all avoiding talking about. Some serious crimes occurred, major crimes. There's a major conspiracy. A lot of agencies are implicated. The president is implicated. Holdren is implicated. Department of Defense, the NRC, FEMA, DHS, DOE, USAID, CDC. It's global because it goes to IAEA, a World Association of Nuclear Operators. All these guys are involved in a massive global cover, but certainly in the United States, many of our officials, much of our corporate sector are involved, and, and they're guilty, 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 but we got to get these documents out, and you must understand the reason there's a troll frenzy right now, okay, many of you are aware of this, the trolls are going off, okay, why? There's some pretty damning information here. Let's look at the eight big things I got out of these FOIA documents they don't want to talk about. Number one, as I just said, the world's largest provable cover-up involving Obama, Holdren, multiple agencies, the private sector, global agencies such as the UN, IAEA, World Association of Nuclear Operators, so on and so forth. Provable in the documents. All you have to do is look and read through them yourself. Don't take it from me. Like I say, it's about the information. Hey, maybe I'm a bad person. I don't know. It's about the information, folks, and solely about the information. So it indicates this huge orchestrated cover-up and conspiracy to hide the radioactive plume and fall out from American citizens. Yes, we're getting very sick from it. Yes, it's much worse than they let on, and they knew this early on. Number two, Navy ships were knowingly exposed to high levels of radiation. When you make a decision to run multiple quote-unquote worst-case scenarios and choose the least worst case or whatever would allow you to make a decision not to move Navy ships because the levels are low enough. Again, like I say, if you run 20 worst-case scenarios and pick the least worst of the worst-case scenarios, again, you, common sense would tell you there's only one worst-case scenario, right? But they run multiple scenarios, choose the least damaging one, they base their warnings or lack of warnings. We got no warning. Nobody got any warning. France got warnings to stay out of the rain, not eat green leafy vegetables that far away. But we didn't get any. And so they would run these bogus models and say, "Now nah, we don't have to move Navy ships. Why, looky here. It's not that bad after all. So our guys got really sick from it in the Navy. They have leukemia, so on and so forth. That's also indicated in these documents as well. Okay. Number three. TEPCO intentionally discharged radioactive water into the Pacific since April of 2011. Interestingly enough, as I've said before, 
after I had released information from the FOIA documents proving beyond any doubt TEPCO intentionally on and off uh, discharge water into the ocean, well, that's when mainstream started talking about it, okay? They couldn't deny it any longer, and so finally it starts trickle truth leaking out a little bit at a time. Number four, Bechtel hosed the American public for $9.8 billion dollars for their pumping system that Japan didn't want, and they were vocal about this. My mom continues to remind me, hey, Japan didn't even want those pumps. They really didn't want them. They sure didn't want to pay for them because what was the solution when Japan says, no, we don't really want them, don't really need them? The DOD bills John Q. Taxpayer. Well, I'll put it this way. DOD wrote the check for $9.8 billion. We got hosed. Okay, that's also indicated in these documents. $9.8 billion. Bechtel has influence on the Council of Foreign Relations and in our government, and they're very... Uh, persuasive. They have a lot of sway and a lot of clout. $9.8 billion they profited from this, or pretty close to it. Number five, a quote-unquote Japan earthquake and tsunami drill occurred simultaneously as a Fukushima event. Many of you are aware that during some of these bombings and shootings and hurricanes and so on and so forth, there is a drill that occurs the same day or the day before. 9-11, Vigilant Guardian, they're flying planes in the sky, running hijack drills. This is also indicated within the NRC FOIA documents pertaining to Fukushima. Number six, there is evidence that we have many non-seismically qualified spent fuel pools here in the United States. This is indicated in the FOIA documents pertaining to Fukushima. We have many non-seismically qualified spent fuel pools in the United States. Number seven, our nuclear plants are not prepared for a tsunami slash earthquake co-event of the same magnitude as Fukushima. In other words, if we have an earthquake and tsunami at the same time, there's admission within these documents that likely our plants, some of those that would be affected, might not be prepared for that. That is also indicated in these documents. And number eight, finally, and the last one for this, this list, there's a lot more, but these are some of the big ones. Unit 4 and Unit 3, for that matter, if you really dig into these documents, there's less to find on Unit 3, but for either one, the damage was absolutely catastrophic to those spent fuel pools. Unit 4 and 3 very likely lost all their fuel in a pyrophoric fire, and it was released radiation directly into the atmosphere, and there's probably very little fuel left to retrieve, if any at all, and that is likely the truth. There's a big hoax ongoing. I've been clear about this. Can I prove it beyond any reasonable doubt? I can only show you that they can't give us solid evidence that we would find conclusive of the condition of the fuel in spent fuel pool number four. And they still have not 980 plus days uh, after Fukushima. We still don't know. We still don't know. And so these are some of the things indicated in these documents. So uh, right now, as some of this is gaining traction and some people are realizing that there really was some blockbuster information in these documents, they were intentionally suppressed. I've been clear since February, March of 2012, when I wrote Alternative Media Infiltration, that article, I'll link to it as well, that there was some kind of orchestrated effort underway to defraud the American public of this information. There was all these I call them a shill network or a troll den. It's groups of shills and trolls and controlled opposition. They all work together to report on anything and everything. But what I've been reporting to you guys since February of 2012, my record speaks for itself. Don't don't worry about me as a person. Hey, maybe I'm a bad person. May I have bad habits and, you know, I'm rude and don't like me. It doesn't matter. The information is what I want to put on trial here, not me. The information so please examine the information, look at my screen captures, go to my blog, go to my website. I also have Uncovering Plumegate, which is a WordPress blog as well. I have anacronyms and definitions and links to the FOIA documents. So you can go in and look yourself at exactly what I've been looking at, exactly what I've been looking at. So I just today wanted to come out very quickly and reiterate the same ones that are seem to be, um, I'm being told, again, I don't spend a lot of time chasing this stuff down because their intention is to lure you into a back and forth with these trolls and the shills and it, it, it consumes your energy and it makes you look bad. And also my mom gave me this book on Zen Buddhism the other day. <laughs> if you look at the precepts in Zen Buddhism, you shouldn't be negative and put other people down. And man, that makes so much sense to me right now. So I'm not attacking anybody. I'm not retaliating and I'm not 
calling out any names. I'm going to lead my example and I'm going to put the information on trial. I'm not going to put anybody down. Okay, I love everybody across the board. I'm trying my best to do that. And, and that's where I just want to leave this particular video for now. And I've got an article. I'm going to come out and kind of reiterate some of this in an article, this list I've got and, and what they're avoiding talking about. And, and it's pretty noticeable when you when you familiarize yourself with the information and you realize how important it is and then you see all these media outlets mainstream alternative on YouTube you name it they, they some of them are forced to talk about Fukushima but they won't cover these documents at all and that's a red flag a common thread across the board and that's why since you know February March of 2012 I've been adamant that Operation Mockingbird infiltration, it wasn't just for mainstream, it went into alternative. They set up their fake figureheads and bogus media outlets there. And then they went into YouTube and said, hey, let's make a bunch of channels here and we'll own these guys here too. Our sock puppets, trolls, shills, establishment, controlled opposition, whatever you want to call them. They're all over Facebook. A lot of them can't even prove their identity. And a few of them can, but again, they don't mind showing their face and trolling you up all day long. They don't. And if some of us figure it out that they're controlled opposition, they don't care because we can't do much about it until enough people are awakened. So they continue to troll, continue to shill, because to the newcomers and the noobs coming in, that's very effective. Mudding the waters, admitting some stuff about Fukushima, but not giving them the whole story not giving them the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and i swear to almighty yah here and right now that's what i intend to do ladies and gentlemen and this is hatrick penry thanks for joining me for this video talk to you again soon over and out this has been an hp news network special report We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.